So this video is for anybody that is new to machine, never used machine before. I'll be touching on managing sounds and groups and we'll be touching on things like how to add samples, how to uh, rename your sound slots and your groups and what have you. So let's drum right in. Okay, so these are the various ways in which you can um, load sounds into a machine or just onto a pad, let's just say. So you've got your 16 pads here and now you can go into all groups, pick an expansion and then you can go to loops or your samples tab and then you can just literally just drag it onto a pad like that if you don't want to do that for whatever reason you can just double click on the um, actual sample that you want to go onto a pad and it ends up like that there is another way whereby you can go through your file system and do it that way so let's just find a sample we'll go into say this expansion I'm going to go to samples, let's just say, and then we can go to like one shots, sound effect, let's just say, and um, uh, you can just have the, like this, or you can double click on the sample and again, it will appear on the pad. You can also reset the pad if you no longer want to have that sound on that pad, or you can simply just control Z and it will undo that. Another way to add multiple sounds to machine, go over to your browser list and select multiple sounds like this. Hold down shift. You can then select various samples and if you drag them over to the first pad, they will then load onto all of the pads. So if you've got a drum kit that you've made, instead of dragging one um, sample at a time, you can drag multiple samples onto your, all of your pads, which saves a lot of time. So now we're gonna talk about pre-listening your sounds. So you've got this little speaker here in your group. If it's switched off, when you hit a pad with uh, your mouse, uh, you won't hear any sound because the actual speaker has been turned off at the top. Make sure the speaker is selected so that you can pre-listen to um, the sounds on your pads. You may want to do this if you've loaded the kit and you've gone away and you've come back and you've forgotten where each sounds are. You can then pre-listen by just selecting each pad um, using your mouse, just like this. So the same applies to pre-listening to sounds on the browser list. So it's just simply just clicking through, just like this. Or you can use your, your cursor. Um, but you've got to make sure the speaker's on again. Okay, I do apologize, guys. I've just realized that part of the tutorial had bits where you couldn't see the bottom of the screen. And so I just realized that uh, the software I was using was uh, cropping out the bottom. And so if I was talking about um, auditioning, turning the uh, uh, audition speaker on and off, or routing or clicking the um, pattern on and off when selecting groups. Uh, do apologize, it's fixed now. Let's get on to the video. So make sure your speaker's on here as well because then you won't hear anything. Also, uh, if you've got a sound that's playing and won't and you want it to stop abruptly, um, you can just um, click the uh, speaker off or from your hardware controller, just hold down shift and choke and it will stop the sound just that way also. In Machine, you can make your own drum kits by dragging sounds from different places and then saving those sounds in a group to be used later. The way to do this is, for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna drag like some hi-hats in there. Let's just drop, drag, no, just that many, just do that. So now we've got uh, a number of hi-hats. This could be kick, snare, hi-hat, open, close, what have you. And so what you'd want to do is hover over the pad name, save as with samples. This would do is it would save all the sounds in their correct slots. The samples attached for me, that would look like users, rich, documents, and then we've got to find native instruments and then machine two 
and then groups and in here i can just put in my kit just name it my kit save then hit save again and so now if i create another group and then go over to my groups here but then select my user you can see that my kit is here if i double tick click on my kit then all of the samples exactly how i saved them and now this way i can basically create kits and share them with other people um, that's working on a project or what have you that's a cool way to create your own drum kits um, using sounds that you've collected from different um, places in machine so another thing you can do in machine with your samples is to copy and paste or cut and paste uh, and so here i've got a sound on one of my pads and i may want to copy and paste it to pad on the 10 so we just right click on the pad within the software and then paste it onto the pad that is desired you can also cut and paste uh, or copy and paste um, whole groups so to do this you just select your group right click copy then just hover over the plus sign right click and paste in machine you can select multiple groups and multiple sounds at the same time and you do something like this for example if you had in your kit that your polyphony was maybe um, 16 and you wanted to reduce all of your sounds to maybe one this is where you would do this so in the browser list i've now just drag a number of sounds over to my pads just for example and then i will hit command a make sure i'm in the right group command a and control a on a windows computer and then i can make any setting i like so the polyphony at the moment is at eight i want to change it to one now all of my samples are set to polyphony one and the same goes for things like pitch bend and like pitch so uh again command a if we go over to pitch and then i, know, I could change the tune and as you can see each sample's tune is now changed so that's a really handy tip if you want to select each sound and change the parameters of each sound in one go and the same applies to groups just select one group hit command a and then you can make any changes that you need to make at the group level you can also do cool things like selecting a number of pads so like the first four i want them to be like red and then the next two three pads i want that to be i want those to be i don't know like purple and then next two pads i want them to be like a green so that's really a, a quick way to color your pads um because you may want your red pads to be like uh, really hard hitting percussive elements then the yellow pads maybe some melodic elements um or melodic sounds so um that's a really quick way to configure your parameters like i've just said and to color your pads also so another way to manage your sounds is to rename them in the group so if you go to your sound or your pad and right click and then you can hit rename and then you can type whatever you want and hit enter simple as that if you made a mistake you can control z and command z on a mac to set it back to what it was before you actually renamed the pad and so the same applies to renaming groups so if you just select one of your groups right click scroll down to rename and you can rename your group that way also if you make a mistake like i said you can hit uh, Control z or uh, command z to set it back to what it was previously